Mike and Brent here from Sue Make North America Tool Talk. Today we're going to cover our new inline cordless screwdrivers. These packages come with the obviously with the driver, two batteries, a torque cover, a belt hook or a hanging hook, it matters how you want to hang it or use it, and a couple bits. Um, the batteries are 10.8 volts, 3 amps. They should last approximately eight hours. We, the, we sell the package with two batteries, just so you always have one charging, and especially if you're doing two shifts. The batteries are very easily inserted into the battery charger, as well as easy to remove from the screwdriver. Brent, can you give us some more details on how these things work? Absolutely. So as Mike was saying, this tool has a brushless motor, an auto stop clutch, and, um, a uh, torque dial at the tip of the, the driver to allow you to change the torque. Um, as you twist this dial, either clockwise or counterclockwise, you're going to be either increasing or decreasing the torque against the scale that's on the tip of the driver. Um, counterclockwise, or clockwise, excuse me, is to increase, counterclockwise is to decrease. Um, the tool also features uh, audible and visual torque status indicators, um, which can be turned off upon request, um, but will indicate whether the clutch was tripped properly or not uh, to the operator. So let's run this down. You'll notice it's very smooth, quiet, and uh, it's also very accurate. This clutch is accurate to plus or minus 3%. Now if I turn the tool around, you'll notice it has not been beeping as it just did there. You'll see the top light here will light up green when there's a successful fashion. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to stop the screw before it actually seats to give a, a, a no good indication. You'll notice at the bottom here, there's going to be a red light that comes on and one long beep will indicate that the screw was not applied properly. What we've noticed is most of our customers are purchasing these to work at workstations where there's not already electrical run ran. So they don't have to run the electric run the electrical, they can just have a, a cordless tool work there. We've also seen a lot of people purchasing these that are actually have an assembly where they have to walk around. So they're not carrying a cord with them as they walk around. Um, we have some customers who are actually looking for angle, a small angle cordless tool. So we also developed an angle adapter. You can remove um, this part, put on the angle adapter, and this we turn it into a, an angle screwdriver as well. Let's talk about the torque cover. To put the torque cover on, the first thing you do is remove this collar. Now we're ready for the torque cover. But the good question is, why do you need the torque cover? As you can see, it's easy to move this, this torque setting knob, which would change your end result on what you're torquing. So what's suggested is once you set the screwdriver up for the torque for your application, you use the torque cover to ensure, to ensure that it doesn't get changed on the op operation or the, you know, during the operation of inserting screws. So now, if, if your end users uh, actually grab down here, they're not going to be twisting the torque, torque knob and changing the torque. So we highly suggest that you do use the torque cover that comes with the tool. These assembly drivers come with your, your standard quarter inch hex female bit receivers. When you're changing the bit, either putting one in or taking it out, you should always have the driver in neutral so there's no chance of the driver starting up on you. To put the bit in, simply line it with the bit receiver, stick it in part of the way, and grab the bit receiver and pull away from the driver. At that point, you can stick it in the rest of the way and ensure that it's locked in place. To take it out, just reverse those steps, pull the bit receiver away from the tool, pull the bit out, and then you can remove it and switch to a different bit. Okay, let's take a look at the battery charger for this cordless tool. 
the battery fits in here quite easily, as, as I mentioned earlier. Once you put it in, there's indicator lights at the top to tell you what's going on. The red blinking light means that this battery is being charged. Orange means it's less than 80% charged. Once it becomes fully charged, the green light will come on, these two lights will go off, and it will indicate that the battery charger has charged. Relatively easy to use, and a battery that's been run down to about 20% life cycle left will take just under an hour to charge. That's one of the reasons we delivered two batteries with this package. So it's recommended that you send these tools in to be recalibrated and certified every year. If you're using them three shifts a day, it's recommended between six and, and 12 months. Um, but if you're using the standard one to, uh, to two shifts a day, uh, each year should get you by just fine. Um, for more information on this tool, including videos, uh, technical data, so on, contact Sumic North America at sumicnorthamerica.com or call 603-402-9952.